G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Grow in Melbourne. I'll do a quick update on my dragon fruit. This one's a few years old now. But a few weeks ago, I noticed something that was really, really exciting. And my dragon fruit is deciding to flower for the first time. And um, as you can see, there's a flower starting to protrude out of the end of this particular one here. That's obviously the first one I saw. But as I investigated a bit more, I'll just climb up here because I'm over a pond here. So I then, whoops, I then discovered another flower here. Um, there's more, I promise. I just can't find them. We've got another little one just coming out here. So we've got one, two. Three. So we're nearly fell in the pond. Got three. See if I can find any more. Oh, there's one over there. I was right there. Look. Another one there. I think I might have counted that one. I can't remember now. I'm lost. The only problem now is the weather's getting cold. And I don't know if the dragon fruit will will uh be able to handle this cooler weather now they're coming into flower really really late but I've had this dragon fruit for about three I think three years um, but all of this top all of this top parts here is what's grown since I've had it I bought it when it was approximately that high just here and I've taken several cuttings as well and um, I've got them to take and I've given them away to people in the neighborhood who are also keen but there you go there's dragon fruit flowering in Melbourne this gives me um, it, this makes me really excited because I've got some varieties down the bottom there. I've done videos on them Which are a, um, a lot better variety So seeing these flowers gets me more excited for the other varieties I've got down down the bottom. I Just thought I'd let you know that Yes, you can grow dragon fruit or patea in Melbourne, Australia Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.